Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on the Law & Order SVU uh, theme for acoustic guitar. I break this uh, tutorial into two parts. One is involving around the chords that I just played, uh, and I have that guitar tuned differently, uh, and I'll go over that in a second. And um, the second part is uh, the riffs for the uh, lead guitar and the clarinet and a little bit of slide work uh, that's also in the video I just did. I'll post the link in the description box down below and let's get to it. Okay, for the first part of the Law & Order theme, which will be uh, entirely the chords and the bass notes, which pretty much mirror the piano part on the Law & Order theme on TV. So, for that, on this part, I tune the guitar down to uh, C, G, D, G, B, D. So, low C, Low E tuned down two full steps all the way down to C. Check that with your tuner. And then A string goes down to G. And then D is the same, G is the same, and B. Those three are, are like standard guitar tuning, open strings. And then your high E goes down to a D. Kind of weird, right? Okay, so the way I play most of this is with a thumb pick to sustain the bass notes, and then I use my uh, index finger, middle finger, and ring finger to pluck out most of the chords. Whatever they may be. Uh, okay, so the beginning starts with a two second fret on the now low C string, and then open G, which is on the A string, now down to G. So two, and then zero on the G string. And then you got your fifth fret on the D string, seventh fret on the G string. And I do a triple pluck there. Okay, slide those two down, uh, two frets to third fret and fifth fret, D and G strings respectively. And then three five goes to three three bar those two notes okay and then in the uh, lead guitar part it does that little but I'll go over that in the next part okay so you got wow then it does the two zero again and then it does the five seven again three plucks Everything up three frets, so five seven will be eight ten. So you can see that. Okay, and then it does a sus. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a G sus two maybe. So that's okay. Seven seven eight seven D string. 7 G string and 8 on the B string. I pluck that with the three fingers. And then slide uh, 7 and 8 uh, G string, B string down two frets to uh, 5 and 6. I can't, I couldn't when I was trying to figure it out on the, uh, from the recording. It didn't sound like they were sliding everything down two frets. I didn't necessarily hear this note on the fifth fret, so I just. But you could probably put that in, it doesn't really sound too bad. It, it still works, but I think, I think what I was hearing on the recording was. You want to try to sustain these notes as long as you can. That's why I'm using the thumb pick. Okay, that's the second phrase, and then it does it again, same riff, 2-0. And then I go way up to the 12th fret on the D and G strings. Slide those two down to 10-10. Or you can go uh, 7 and 8, uh, G string, B string. 
Same thing, but on the uh, on my version, I did it up here because it's right next to the next chord, which is uh, whatever sus that is. <laughs> uh, see, that would be a G, um, maybe an A. I'm not sure. I think so. A sus two. So that would go. So that's 10, 10, 11 on the uh, D, G, and B strings. And then that's 7, 7, 10. Seven, seven, ten with your pinky. Okay, and all that while you're holding out that G note. Okay, okay, after those three parts, then it changes uh, the chords. So I slide up from the tenth fret on the C string or your E string, which is now tuned down to C. So 10 to 12, a real quick slide there. And then I go uh, 10th fret, 10, 10, 10 on the D, G, and B strings. So it kind of, so when you slide up 10 to 12, and then I immediately hit a zero after that on the C string. When you're hitting those four together, basically. So that chord is played together. So that's 10, 10, 10, slide down to 8, 8, 8. And then it slides up while the C, open C note is resonating. Okay, and then I do a slide, I do an open G note here on the A string. And then I do, I do zero and then I slide up to five. And then play six, five, four on the D, G, and B strings. So it's a, so it's a zero, slide up to five. And then when I'm hitting the six, five, four notes on the D, G, B strings, I hit the open C as well. And then slide six, five, four up to uh, eight, seven, six on the same strings. While you're, while you're holding the sustain of the open C. Okay, so I'll go over that one more time. So you're going. That part's a little tricky. The zero to five slide. Right after that, you go into the six, five, four. I kind of play it with my pinky uh, ring finger and index finger because it allows me to slide up with my second finger. You can actually do that a different way too. You can, you can, it depends on how good you are at stretching and how comfortable you are with the 654 uh, configuration. You can slide 0 to 5 and play 1 1 1 on the lower uh, three strings. So you can slide with your pinky and go one 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 to three three three. Or you can do that's the way I play it on my video. Okay, after that part, play the A note, second fret, on your now G string, and then you play two on the um, G string, two, one on the B, and two on the high E, two, one, two. You first play the root, second fret, and then two, one, two. I do that with my ring finger, index finger, and pinky, so that gives you a And then I, that is zero, zero, zero. So two, one, two, you can see the way I'm plucking it too. Same three fingers. But you're holding that second fret note, which is an A. Okay. 
and then I play the uh, fifth fret on the A string with my thumb actually twice and then fifth fret on the low E string then I go seven D string five G string five B string those three notes and then five four three DGB strings I do that while holding my thumb there to kind of hold out the sustain on that note. It's a little tricky. And then it goes 5-5-5 five, five, five on the high three strings. You can play the 5-5-5 five, five, five with your first finger or your third finger. Then after that, you play 2nd fret on the low E, 2nd fret on the A string, and then open D. Those three notes, just pluck those together. So it goes. That's the chord that it holds out, and then it goes to the final 2-0. You're just playing your D and G strings open, zero, zero, three times. And then two, 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 same strings, and then three. And then that's it for the, uh, the weird tuning part, which is the basic bass part of the song. Okay, for part two, we are back to a guitar with standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay, this part two is going to uh, cover the guitar solos or the guitar fills, uh, the clarinet riffs, and I'll try to get to the slide parts, which are really easy. There's just two little slide parts, so. Okay, so the guitar fills. Uh, the first fill is the little bend, which is 5th fret on the G string, 5th fret on the B string. That's after it goes. And it bends it like two or three times, I think three times. Um, and those bends are kind of like half bends. You just kind of get it, you just kind of play with it, get a feel for it whatever sounds good to you. And then the dun dun, I can't do it on this guitar because it's not tuned right. There we go. And then when it does the... Okay, then the guitar goes three, four, five, pluck, third fret, uh, hammer-ons, Three, four, five. Then uh, pluck the open D. So it's zero, three, five. Kind of play it like that. So however I pluck that. So that's a hammer on zero, three on the D string. And then five, three, two plucks. That's the first two parts and then the part that goes The guitar, the lead guitar part, slides down from roughly the seventh fret on the G and B strings. You could do like a sixth fret. It's basically a slide down to the fifth fret. That's the important thing. So you could do a, like a half or a full, but a really quick slide. And then five, three on the G string. Uh, two plucks there. So five, three, and then a pull off five, three and then 5th fret D string, so those five notes. And then 5-3 again, two plucks. And then slide up to the 7th fret on the G string, 6th six, fret B string, then 7th again, and then 7 slides back down to 5. So it's...
little bit of vibrato there, whatever you want to do. Okay, I'm going to go over that for you with the original music that I made, just so you can see it played in real time. After that, it goes into the clarinet solo, doing all the uh, that stuff, which I'll go over in a little bit. Uh, after the little clarinet fill part, uh, the guitar, uh, the chords go, and then the guitar riff goes. It's a uh, hammer on zero two, and then zero. Uh, that's on the D string, and then zero G string, second fret, and then a pull off. So I'll show you real slow. Two zero uh, pick and then two zero pull off. Two zero and then two on the D. So that's and then two four zero two all picked. I'll go over that briefly for you. Show you which part in the theme that comes in. Bend. Okay, that's a that's a. It's kind of it starts off in a bent uh, seventh fret G string. Uh, you don't bend up though. You actually start into the bend and pluck. So you're kind of coming down off of it. And then you're just kind of you're kind of releasing the tension on that. There's no exact like positioning on your hand where to do it. Just kind of do it how it sounds good by ear. So I'm not sure how many plucks that is after the initial pluck. One, two, three, four, five. And then he goes fifth fret, seventh fret, pull off, five, seven. So five, and then a pull off, seven, five. And then seven on the G, uh, D string. Okay. And then uh, five G string, uh, seven D string. Right, and then fifth fret uh, high E string, and then uh, fifth fret on the G string, kind of a slight little like a bluesy bend, and then uh, back to the root note, which is the D uh, D string seventh fret, your A. So it's okay, and then it does the. And then you're just doing a real quick uh, bend on the uh, G and B strings, real fast. Okay, I'll just play that end again for you. That's it for the guitar parts, and now we're going to go over the clarinet parts. First clarinet fill, it comes right around this part. I'll play the part in the song real quick for you. Okay, so that goes uh, 13th fret on the B string, makes a uh, 5 fret stretch, so that's 13 to 18 I guess. It's like a hammer on. And then 15th fret, uh, high E string. Uh, that's 15 to 17. I guess that was a slide. 15 twice, slide up to 17, and then 15 again. So that again, that's 13, uh, hammer on to 18. Uh, 15, 15, slide up to 17, and then 15. Okay, and then it's um, uh, on the G string, that would be 17th fret. And then 17th fret on the high E string. Uh, hammer on with your pinky, which is really difficult. Uh, 17 to 20. 
So it's a hammer on. Can't even hear that. So that's a hammer on 17 to 20. Uh, pick at 17 and then 15. So that's. Okay. And then it goes uh, 11th fret B string. Pull off to 9, 11 to 9. And then a hammer on from 9 to 13. So it's. And then 11th fret high E. Everything up two frets. Uh, 11th fret. Hammer on to 15. 13 on fret on the E string, high E. So it's. And then back to 13, back to 15, B string. Then repeat that again. And then that's the hammer on from 11 to 15. And then it hits the 12, slides up to 13, and then back to 12. I'll play that again. Okay, I'm going to try to play this all with the music so you can see it all in action. This part right here, it goes um, uh, 13th fret, hammer on to 15 on the B string, slides up to 17, and then uh, 15, 17, hammer on, slide up to 20. Okay, it's kind of hard to do on an acoustic to get it to res uh, sustain, but. And then a bend at the 20th fret, and then you break your strings. Slow bend on the 20th fret. Okay, I'm gonna try to play that all back for you. Here goes. One part I played I didn't go over is like little fade ins. It's a uh, 13th fret, 12th fret on the B string, 13 again, and then 14th fret on the G string. I did it with like a volume pedal to kind of fade it in, give it that kind of a clarinetty feel. So that's pretty much it. And then the slide parts, uh, the one is starts off on the fifth. It just slides on the fifth fret G string down pretty much to zero. I'll show you the riff that comes. That's pretty much it. Pull that up again, a little better spot here. Can't really hear it very good, but anyways, it comes in that part. And then the last slide is at the end, it's the third fret on the B string. All the way up to 15th fret. I'll try to find the part in the song I can play that. Make it sound like a cop siren or something. Yep, third fret all the way to 15th fret. And that's pretty much it. Guys, appreciate you watching my tutorial. Hopefully you get something out of it. Uh, maybe you can play and amaze and delight your friends with it. That'd be awesome. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content. Um, and uh, leave me a comment if you um, have any issues and uh, have any questions about uh, what I laid out or tried to lay out in this tutorial. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you, guys.